Every stills photographer should have a drone. I know, your D810 has more pixels and dynamic range, but your D810 can't fly 400 feet in the air or a mile out over the water. You can just get angles that you can't possibly get with a conventional camera, and that has meant that our drone shots are actually way more like than our much higher quality terrestrial shots. Drones are amazing. We're gonna look at the image quality of DJI's three most recent drones. You know what else? You can actually make money as a drone photographer. In the US, the FAA has a new certification program that will allow you to do some commercial work. And drone photography is in big demand for real estate photography, even things like weddings. Drone photography really benefits from it. Subscribe to our channel to see our upcoming coverage on how to get that FAA certification as the three of us here in, in Connecticut pass those tests. First up, sharpness. Zoomed way in. The Phantom 4 Pro's 20 megapixel sensor shows cleaner images with noticeably more detail than the Mavic, even at ISO 100. The Phantom 4 Pro also beats the original Phantom 4 for sharpness, especially in the corners. Many photographers think that lenses are sharpest at f8, but that's rarely true because diffraction ruins sharpness at higher f-stop numbers. The Phantom 4 Pro lens was overall sharper at f4, even in the scene containing deep depth of field. Depth of field just isn't a problem with the Phantom 4 Pro. Flaring are those weird blobs that you see when you take pictures into the sun or with the sun at an angle, and it's really common since you're flying above the trees, the sun's in a lot of shots. So let's see how those three cameras compare. In another scene, comparing the Phantom to the Mavic 4 Pro, the Mavic shows disturbing amounts of flare, while the Phantom 4 Pro shows almost none. Note that the Phantom 4 Pro shut its lens down from f2.8 to f4, which serves to reduce the flaring, but you as the photographer can control that aperture and thus control the flaring. The Mavic is always shooting wide open at f2.2 because the aperture seems to be fixed. The same applies for the original Phantom 4 when shooting into the sun. Distinct, unpleasant blobs of flaring and lots of red. Comparing the Phantom 4 Pro at f4 and f11, you can see how powerful that control can be. On every lens, selecting a high f-stop number gives you the starburst effect you have on the right here. You can't get that with the Mavic or the original Phantom 4. Now let's look at the dynamic range. Recovering raw shadows three full stops, the Phantom 4 Pro shows noticeably better dynamic range, and we found that's really important in aerial shots where we're often shooting in the full sun. Note that you could easily improve either image by setting DJI Go to bracket your shots and then merging the pictures with Lightroom's HDR Photo Merge. Though the cameras didn't precisely match exposures, recovered shadows from the Phantom 4 Pro overall looked better than the original Phantom 4 too. What about high ISO noise on these cameras? At ISO 1600, which you would normally use in low light conditions, both cameras had acceptable amounts of noise. The Mavic showed more color noise and the Phantom 4 Pro overall looked a bit better, but the two cameras are close. The same holds true when comparing the Phantom 4 to the Phantom 4 Pro at ISO 1600. The Mavic and Phantom both have more saturated images by default, while the Phantom 4 Pro's images are much more natural and true. If you're shooting raw and you know how to use an image editor, that doesn't make much difference. It's easy to change the color in post. All right, so what should you get? Well, the Phantom 4 Pro clearly has by far the best image quality. The video quality was the best too, so get that. But we're leaving for Thailand in two days, and you know what? I'm bringing the Mavic Pro, because look at it, it's, it's tiny. It can fit in my, my bag really easily, and the best camera is the one that you have with you. So when I'm working around here, it's the Phantom 4 Pro, but tra for travel, this is what I'd recommend the Mavic Pro. 
And at the lower end, the Phantom 4 is less expensive, but very good. And even lower than that, the Phantom 3 Standard, you could pick it up now for about 400 bucks. So whatever you do, get yourself a drone and get started, whether you're shooting stills or video, because it's gonna take you a few years just to learn the different techniques, but that's also really, really exciting. To help you learn those techniques, especially things like planning and composition and lighting, check out my book, Stunning Digital Photography. And to help you post-process all those images, check out our books on Lightroom and Photoshop. Have any questions, ask them in the comments, give me a like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks, bye. We're gonna take a look at the image quality of DJI's three most recent consumer drones, the Phantom 4 Pro, the Mavic Pro, and the original Phantom 4. And that's my neighbor's leaf blower. <laughs>